I hope you enjoyed the introduction of Gandalf, my hairy puffer. I've had this guy for about two months now and in my opinion is the best ambush puffer in the world. Now there's a lot of conflicting info on are they ambush puffers, uh, are they even aggressive. I've got endlers in here and he doesn't go after them at all. Now that could change at any time. Doesn't go after snails, definitely loves his shrimp and uh, worms loves 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 the red wigglers i throw in there goes after him like crazy the other cool thing about this fish is their beard obviously that's why he's named gandalf uh, it is supposed to be sexual dimorphic so if they have the beard it's a male if they don't or have very little siri is what it's called uh, then it's said to be females but it's also said that those go away with age so who knows there's not a lot of good info on this fish um, you know the ph right around neutral 7.0 uh, just standard tropical temperatures 78 they can go they can go a little colder a little warmer uh, i keep this guy at about 75 and he does just fine here you can see him revving up to go after a ghost shrimp here so pretty pretty neat and uh, like I said, one of my favorite ambush puffers because they don't just sit around. I've had a Congo puffer before and they just bury themselves. They burrow down in the substrate and they never move. Uh, whereas this guy actively hunts. He's always out and about here. He's, he's chasing some more shrimp here. And uh, yeah, so he doesn't just sit around and wait for the shrimp to come to him. So technically an ambush puffer, uh, but not really. The other cool thing about this fish is that he changes colors with his environment or his and mood, I should say. So as he swims around on the lighter substrate, he gets lighter. See here he's in the back on the darker substrate and see how dark he is now. So he does change colors, not anything drastic, but just enough to kind of blend in, which is pretty cool. Going after another ghost shrimp here. It's going to catch him right, 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 uh, go and go there we go <laughs> all right so not much else to say about these guys i'm building a 40 gallon breeder for him he's still in his quarantine tank here as i usually keep my puffers in quarantine for a very very long time you never know what they're going to come with they generally always come in with some sort of parasite or worm so uh definitely keep them in quarantine for a while and i will be putting him in with other fish if i were you i probably would not as they may become a meal but I'm swimming in endlers, so I'm going to put endlers in here, and if he wants a couple for snacks, he'll have a couple for snacks. As far as breeding the hairy puffer, I haven't found any reports online. Uh, if anyone knows any that have been bred, I'd love to hear it down below, but so far, no reported breeding. I'd love to try it out someday. I don't know what it would take. Probably a fairly large enclosure so they can each have their own space, but you'd have to buy a lot of them to make sure you got a male and female, which could get expensive. They run about $100 where I'm at, so... Yeah, that would add up pretty dang quick. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed meeting Gandalf the Hairy Puffer. Let me know down below what you think of this fish. I think it's very bizarre, super cool, and uh, definitely unique. Uh, check out my top five puffer video. They did make the list. I'll link it right up here in the corner, and I'll see you all next time.